Hey there, it's Brandon Styles, and today it's a very special video. I'm gonna show you how to build your own website in 30 minutes or less. Now it's quarantine time, and so that means a couple things, a lot of time and not a lot of money. So I'm gonna show you how you can build a really good looking website for your portfolio, for your business, just for your own personal use, whatever you wanna use it for, very quickly. Now we're gonna be using two critical services today. One of them is a hosting service called SiteGround. The other is a WordPress theme called Divi. Now on my channel, I have a really in-depth Divi tutorial. It's like three and a half hours, so check it out. It's gonna be linked right up here. But if you don't have three and a half hours to watch that, this is the same thing, just sped up for you. It just goes to show you, you don't need all this money and all this time to put together a really cool website. Even if you're not techie, you can build a WordPress website that drag and drop, makes everything look really good very quickly. So without explaining any more, let's jump in. I'm gonna show you how you can do this really quickly, get a good looking site launched today in 30 minutes or less. Let's check it out. All right, the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is get our hosting so that we have something to build this website on. Otherwise, we wouldn't have a spot for it. Today, I'm using SiteGround for hosting. SiteGround's doing this really cool special right now, stay home, stay safe. You get three months for the startup hosting plan for 99 cents, so it's 33 cents a month, which is pretty cool. If you click the link in the description, it's an affiliate link, get a small little commission for this, for showing you guys this, but don't feel any sweat to click it or not, it's totally up to you. Anyhow, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to log in. I just created an account on here, all right? If you don't have an account, you can choose your starting plan. I would just choose WordPress hosting, and you can check out and see what they're doing. This startup plan, again, you get one website, 10 gigabytes of space, 10,000 visits monthly, and if that's not enough for you, then you can get one of these. Again, this is just $6 a month, so these are really, really good pricing. But again, you're just going to choose one, you're going to choose get plan. So I already have a domain, so I'm just going to click brandstyles.com, and I'm going to click proceed. All right, your hosting account will be ready in a few minutes. Of course, you know how to do this. Just fill out your email, your password, your payment, uh, all that, and then you choose right here how long you want your hosting to last for. You can do a trial of one month if you're not sure. If you like SiteGround, just do one month or three months or whatever you want to do here. It's up to you. This uh, SG Site Scanner is a monitoring service. Don't choose it for right now. Just, just skip out on that. Agree to the terms of service. Pay now, and then you are ready with your hosting plan. All right, once you pay, log in, do all that fun stuff, this is going to be what you see. So this is SiteGround's homepage for your new account. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set up a website. So just come up here to website. I'm gonna create a new website. And for right now, I'm just going to select a temporary domain. If you already have your own, you know, yourname.com, or if you wanna create a new one, you can do that. I'm just gonna do temporary domain. And this is gonna be the temporary domain name. You don't have to pay for it. It's gonna be this right here, but for the purpose of this video, it's perfect. The next question they ask, if you already have a website, you can select migrate, but again, this video is for people that do not have one. So let's start a new website. We're gonna be doing a WordPress website in this case, because that's what Divi is built on. And now we just need to set up a login. So I'm gonna type in my credentials right here, and then I'm going to click continue. Next is gonna ask if you wanna add the site scanner. I don't add that, I'm just gonna click finish and then our website is gonna take about two minutes to create. I'll see you back here when it's done. About two minutes later, we are all set to go, so you can either access your WordPress admin. What that's gonna do is let you build out the site on the back end, um, or you could view your site. Let's do that real quick. I'm just going to option select, and this is what our site looks like right now. So if you went to this website address right now, this is exactly what you'd see. So you're, you're live and ready to go but it doesn't look good. That, that website was just a templated website. So let's actually edit this thing. So we're gonna log in as admin. And the email and password is the one you just created a few seconds ago. So I'm gonna type that in right now and then click log in. And this is what we're gonna see. It's gonna give you the option to start now. But you know what? I'm just going to exit out of here for right now. And now we're at our WordPress backend. So not too complicated. Bunch of stuff right here. SiteGround already kind of pre-optimizes this for you so you can change your theme, manage your different pages, you can view your site, et cetera, et cetera. So the next thing we're gonna do, now that we've installed the WordPress framework, right? We're, we're ready to go with WordPress. We're going to download and install the Divi theme from Elegant Themes. So we're gonna go to elegantthemes.com. 
If you check the description of this video, I also have a link to get, I believe it's 10% off this Divi theme. Uh, so feel no pressure, click that. It doesn't cost you any more. In fact, it costs you 10% less, or you can just go to elegantthemes.com and sign up. So what you're gonna do is you're going to come to an account. And then I already have an account here, but what you would do is just click join today. Here are your options to join. You can do either $89 a year or $250 for life. This is the one I did just because you get so much stuff. Like you get it for life, so that's not a year, that's for life. And you get all kinds of updates, hundreds of website packs. I mean, I've been using this for five years. It's my favorite WordPress theme. So I would choose the lifetime access, sign up today, and then of course just enter in all your stuff right here and click complete registration. Once you signed up, paid for Divi and all that kind of stuff, it's gonna take you to your main login page right here. When you sign in, all you're gonna do is click download the Divi theme and it's gonna come right down here. See Divi.zip. Let's go back over to our site ground and we are going to change our theme on the dashboard over here. Remember, change our theme. And then instead of picking one of these, we want to add new. And then we want to upload a theme. We're gonna upload the Divi theme. And if you want, you can just drag it from there right to here. It's gonna say install now. While that's installing, I'm gonna come back over to elegant themes because you need what's called an API key to use these themes. So you come back to elegant themes, you go to my account, you scroll down to API keys. You'll see that I already have a number of API keys, but what you do is just scroll down to the very bottom, click generate a new API key. And then it's gonna give you this big long number right here. You can delete it later, deactivate it later, and you can even add a label for reference. So this is my YouTube tutorial API key. So I'll remember what it was later on. So just copy that. Let's come back to our WordPress theme. Sweet, it's installed Divi. Let's just click activate. And it's activated, the nice little Divi purple there. Final thing we wanna do before we start is come down to this new Divi option you have. Come to theme options. We're gonna put in that API key that we just copied. Come over to the far right for updates. Enter your Elegant Themes username. Paste that API key right here. I'm gonna type in my username. And when you do, just click Save Changes and it's gonna give you the green thumb and now you have full reign on this site and we're ready to start building. WordPress already creates some sample pages, but this is what I'm gonna do. Let's delete this. We don't want it. We can keep the privacy page for later, all right? We've already got a live site working, by the way. If you've followed along with this, your site's already up and that's perfect. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add our home page. You're just gonna come, again, we're in the Pages tab, click Add New. It's gonna bring us to this new page right here, just X out of here. And we're gonna call this Home, but you can call it whatever you want to. And now we're going to use the Divi Builder to build our home page. So you're just gonna click Use Divi Builder. Now here's where the beauty and the quickness and the ease of Divi kicks in. Click start building, or you can take the tour if you want. I'm just gonna click start building. Now watch this first option right here. It's gonna give you three options. You can build it from scratch if you want to. You can clone an existing page, so maybe you already have a cool idea for a home page already saved in here. You can clone that page. Or you can save a bunch of time and just choose from a pre-made layout. This is one of the coolest things about Divi is that it comes with all these pre-made layouts right here. There's 162 that gets you almost 1,200 total layouts. And if you scroll down, there are some cool stuff for all kinds of businesses. Interior design, pottery, SEO agency, a babysitter, a juice shop. So I'm gonna find one real quick to pull up for you so we can edit on the fly. Here's one that's for a language school. You can either view the live demo for this page and kind of see what it looks like. You can also scroll down. Here's a screenshot. So this is what the page is going to look like, and that comes pre-built. And that looks really slick already. This also has all the other pages pre-built for you. Look, there's an about page, contact page. Maybe you've got a course. There's a landing page if you want to run ads to it. All of this is already built, so you can choose any one of those that you want. Like if I want to do the contact page, there's that. But for now, I'm going to choose this home page, and we're just going to select Use This Layout. This takes about 10 seconds, and then your homepage is already built. The only thing you'll need to add is, of course, like your company name, your own pictures, and stuff like that. Uh, so it's taking a second here, depending on your internet speed, of course, 10 to 30 seconds, I guess. All right, and so now this page is built. I mean, you don't have to do anything. It already looks really good as it is, um, but here's how easy it is to edit these pages. 
let's say in your business was not called language school. Let's say it was the Brandon School of Arts. You would edit it almost like you would just a, a Word doc. So I would just highlight this and I would change it to, and then you can highlight this and, and change it. All right, so that's done. Now let's say if I wanted to change this button. So I would hover over this button and this box is gonna pop up. You can of course click around and see what all these icons do, but this wheel, this little grinding wheel, that is all your settings and the settings are super easy. Watch this. Let's say I wanted to change summer registration to learn more and I wanted to change the button color to a green. I'm gonna click that wheel and here's the editing box. Let's bring it to the side right here. And I'm going to just change the button text right here to learn more. And that's how easy it is to edit. Now let's say I wanted to link it to a learn more page. We don't have that page created yet, but you just click that link and you would just type in learn more or whatever your page is called. Remember with WordPress, you don't have to enter in the whole name. So you don't have to do example.com slash learn more. You just take off whatever your domain name is and then write the slash and then whatever the page you're going to. Now, if I wanted to change the design of the button, so I wanted to change the color or how round it is or whatever, you would click design. And here's where you can see all your controls. If I wanted to align it right, now it's aligned right. If I wanted to change the button, I would come right here. You can alter the size by sliding it. So there's big button text. You can also just change it over here if you want to, 14 pixels. And you can change the background color. So you could do it a green, you could do it blue. You could even pick from an assortment of colors. So it kind of gives you some good looking pre-populated color palettes. Or you can go in here and get really granular with a color picker and change the opacity and all that kind of stuff. Or if you want to feel a little modern, you can also add a background gradient. And this gives it kind of this look right here. You can also change where the gradient finishes and ends. You can add a border width. Again, this is all just drag and drop stuff that you do not really have to be technical at all to learn. You can even get a, this little animation. So maybe you wanted to do a bounce in and that's how the button would look. Now what's also cool about this is this looks great on desktop, but how does it look on mobile? Already thought about that. If you come over here, you can choose from your different device sizes. So we're on desktop right now, but you can go to a tablet and then you can go to a phone size and edit it from there. And what's cool about Divi is that you can decide how you want your website to look per device. So what if I wanted this button to be red on a phone, but green on a desktop? Well, we can go back into it. We'll go to the design. We'll go to the button and then we will change the background. First of all, let's delete this. And again, on the phone, let's make it red. Then if we come up to this little phone icon, it gives us our options. So now on the desktop, we want it to be this green color. All right, so now it's red, but if we scroll out to a desktop size, it is green. And that's all there is to it. And so now we just need to click publish. I always click save one more time and our site is ready to go with its homepage. Let's double check, let's go to my WordPress right here. You're gonna scroll down to settings and then you're gonna scroll down to reading. And we just wanna change our homepage for our website. So you're going to change your homepage displays to a static page, and you're gonna select your homepage as the one we just created. Let's save these changes. Now, if you go to this website, I'm gonna pull it up in an incognito browser. If you go to this, your website is up and running and ready to go, and as we can see, this links to a learn more page, which of course we haven't created yet, but your website is looking good. It's live. It's ready to go. So that's all there is to creating a WordPress business website very quickly. So if you're sitting there and, and you're in quarantine and you want to start a business or you want to build a blog or you want to build a website, don't think that you have to be tech savvy and all that kind of stuff. You can get on and get started really quickly. Of course, we didn't cover a lot of the details of what the Divi theme can do. Hopefully you saw how powerful it can be, especially when you get want to get up and running. Maybe you've got like an MVP 
web page that you want to get up really quickly. You've seen how powerful it is, but again, if you want to get into the nitty gritty details and you want to find out more about the implementation, I've got a video which is linked in the description as well, another YouTube course that takes you through all of it. Anyhow, don't be intimidated if you want to start a business website or you just want to start a website for yourself. Dive in, get this today, follow this video again, and you'll be up and running. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if that was helpful, and I'll see you guys next time.